friends, it's there's no longer we are no longer in a place of 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 distant hypothetical. We are no longer in a place of hyperbole. I will no longer I, before I will I will confess. I will lay before you and I will describe my sins for months. I have been pessimistic about Bernie Sanders' chances in the election, but pessimism has no place in odds like these. Bernie Sanders, according to RCP's presidential betting odds, is currently the top contender, the top contender to become the Democratic presidential nominee and Bernie Sanders polls better against Donald Trump than any other candidate does. Bernie Sanders polls in independence better than any other candidate does. The time for enthusiasm is now. All right? There is no longer any 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 room for distanced uh, aloof. Oh well, you know, whatever electoral odds are electoral odds uh who knows? No. What we need now is energy. Energy, folks. Bernie is on a fucking climb, and there is no indication that he's going to be stopping. We are less than one week away from the Iowa primary, where Sanders is currently leading in the polls, and whoever takes the Iowa primary is biased in favor of getting, what is the, what's the next one, the New Hampshire? What's the second one? I always forget. Uh, Iowa, then New Hampshire? It's New Hampshire, because Bernie Sanders is fucking Killing it in the polls for New Hampshire. 15 percentage points above Biden. An insane margin. If he takes Iowa and he takes New Hampshire, odds are very favorable that Bernie makes the Democratic presidential nomination. And then after that, it has, we run out to the general. Can you imagine anyone out there with more energy to take on Trump than Bernie fucking Sanders? Because I cannot, okay? I can imagine Joe Biden up there versus Trump, you know, uh, uh, stammering, uh, stammering through a half-hearted insult about how Obama would have done it better before his teeth clatter onto the ground and uh, Trump shits himself laughing. I can imagine Warren up there bursting into tears after Trump calls her Pocahontas. I can imagine Buttigieg up there, you know, uh, 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 folding his hands hands together and trying to outsmart a monkey throwing shit at him. I can imagine it, but I can imagine Bernie Sanders, above all of them, tri triumphant, standing atop a hill of, of defeated uh, Democratic primary candidates, uh, telling Trump, you listen here, and he goes the fuck off because he knows he can make the quips. You saw the latest Democratic primary, he can make the quips, you know, um, you know, uh, my friend, Mr. Buttigieg, uh, you know, he doesn't have as many billionaires as Biden. And I know you're a very competitive guy. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully you can catch up. You know, he can make the quips. I can't do the voice, but he can make the fucking quips. He's got it. He's got the policy backing. He's got the wide populist support. Remember back when Bernie Sanders went on that fucking town hall uh, uh, for Fox News? And at the end of it, he got the Fox News town hall audience cheering about health care, cheering about taking back our uh, country from the elite. Nobody else could have done that. Can you imagine fucking Warren? Can you? Uh, we can watch. We can fucking watch that. Uh, we can watch that if we want. Bernie Sanders, Fox News Town Hall. What an embarrassment. What a fucking embarrassment. For Fox News, look at this. Premiered April 15th, 1.7 million views. This time, Senator... That I owe. And by the way, why don't you got Donald Trump up here and ask him how much he pays in taxes. Can you imagine any other candidate, any other Democratic candidate getting a fucking round of applause shitting on Trump? Shitting on Trump? At a, at a Fox News We're back with town, hall. town Hall. Republican... No, uh, I, I'm not going to fall for that. Goes, will be in 18th place. Who knows? We do not cut Social Security. Here. <laughs> this country got a little bit too hot. Okay, at the end of the day, we are all Americans who love this country. And I also think, and the media I don't love this country. a good role in this, and again, not just Fox, is we have a lot more in common than most people think we do. All right, poll after poll. 
Should we raise the minimum wage to a living wage? Yes. Should we rebuild our crumbling infrastructure? Yes. Should we make sure that our veterans get the health care that they have earned? Yes. All right. Should we make sure that we do not cut Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid? Yes. Should we give huge tax breaks to billionaires? No. You know, that's how most people feel. <laughs> So I hope, I hope, look, I'm looking forward to a good campaign. And the last point that I want to make, and I thank Fox uh, you know, for the opportunity of being here. Of course. And, of course. and that is, I want to see our country have the highest voter turnout in the industrialized world, not one of the lowest. So no matter what your views are, get involved in the political process, stand up and fight to make this a better country. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Senator Sanders. Nobody else can do this. Nobody else, none of the fucking policy wonks in the Democratic Party can come even fucking close, not even fucking close to achieving this kind of bipartisan support. If Bernie Sanders became president of the United States of America, assuming he isn't hit with the CIA heart attack gun before then, you know, the, the, they take the second shot, you know, they reloaded. Um, if they, if, if we manage to get Bernie Sanders into the office, we will have, this will be the opportunity, not only for the Democratic Party to actually tap into some of the populist energy that's been building over the past decade, this will be an opportunity for the Republican Party to distance themselves from the legacy of false populism that they have engaged in with Donald Trump. There are going to be turnovers, folks. There are going to be turnovers. There are going to be Republicans who start moving over to support democratic causes. Because Bernie builds coalitions, nobody builds coalitions like Bernie Sanders does. And that's because Bernie Sanders isn't a Democrat. Not properly. Bernie Sanders is an independent who's running as a Democrat. And as every, and people keep saying this is a bad thing, I say that's a good thing because fuck the Democratic Party. I don't give a shit about these whiny, melt-toast do-nothings who secretly congratulate themselves every time they lose an election because that means they don't have to do anything for four years and they get to shuffle off all their problems under the Republican Party. The Democrats love not winning elections because now they don't have to do anything. They just get to feel morally superior while complaining about the ineffective governance of the Republicans, but Sanders wants to win. And the people who want Sanders to win want Sanders to win. But we can't get complacent, folks. The DNC is going to get feisty with this. The DNC, every single week, every single week until the primary is decided, is going to do everything in their power to undermine Bernie. They've been trying. They tried really hard with the Warren shit. They failed. Bernie Sanders' numbers are up. Warren's numbers are down. Sorry, but uh, Bernie's been on, on, on record decades now wanting uh, women to be president. Bernie Sanders encouraged Warren to run for the presidency in 2016 and only ran when she did not. It was a worthless smear. Warren, you go suck a dick. Uh, uh, this is a non-gendered insult. Everyone can suck a dick. I am pansexual. Just clarifying. I love you all. Seriously, it failed. It's done. And now we get this. What's going to be the next one? I don't know. Some deep faked video of Bernie Sanders personally carrying out a hit on a, on, on, a, on a CIA official in Latin America back in fucking 1972? I have no idea. We need to be prepared for it. And if we need to oppose the overwhelming propaganda apparatus of the mainstream media and of corporate media, then we need to do grassroots funding work, the likes of which has never been seen before. Folks, if you live in Iowa, you need to be phone banking right now. If you don't feel comfortable phone banking, you need to be doing texting runs, all right? Text folks. Well, I got, I screenshotted this on my phone. Hold on, really quickly. I'm gonna read this out loud to you. This is from the Chapo Trap House subreddit, okay? Listen to this. Honestly, comrades, 
Phone, back, phone banking is the biggest anti-black pill I've experienced recently. I actually convinced at least eight people who were non-voters or undecided to vote or caucus for Bernie. It's wild. I honestly thought people being persuaded to do anything in politics was a myth. In other news, the number of people I have convinced of literally anything by posting online remains at zero. I also got to say that phone banking is legitimately fun and also addicting. It's completely random who's going to be at the other end of the line, maybe a bad comparison, but it reminds me of chat roulette when it first went viral and wasn't just dicks and everyone I knew was in college uh, trying it out. I have to set limits on myself or I'll just phone bank all the damn time. Go here to make calls, berniesanders.com slash call. Join the Slack if you have questions. It's very helpful. Get in there. Phone banking. You call people. Dead call people. Hey, what's up? Who are you considering voting for in this upcoming presidential election? You need to canvas. You need to fucking canvas okay this is not we this is not a time to be cynical this is me canvassing right now i'm doing this right now this is my job i do this 60 hours a week this is me doing it if i didn't have this job if i wasn't doing public advocacy for my literal fucking day job i would be phone banking i am good at phone banking i have done canvassing before i have done volunteering before i have uh, managed people canvassing before just fucking do it if you can't call text all right because you know what most people in this country are undecided voters bernie sanders appeals most to undecided voters and independents who are sick of the lackadaisy, who are sick of the complacency of the, 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 the do-nothings in Washington. Bernie Sanders appeals to those people because Bernie Sanders has spent his entire career believing firmly in things that are popular to anyone with more than a few brain cells bouncing around in their head, okay? Bernie Sanders wins that. You know, in Iowa right now, you know something like 30% of people who say they're going to vote for Biden believe firmly that they're going to vote for Biden? Of the people who say they want to vote for Biden, only 30% say they're decided. 70% are open. This is just people who have already decided on their vote. This is just people who have already announced they have a preference. Do you have any idea how many apolitical non-voters there are out there who are waiting for you, you specifically, to call them and to say, hey, my friend, who are you voting for this election? Oh, you don't have a preference? Would you be willing to talk for five to 10 minutes? Because I have a case to make for you. Folks, if you are not currently registered to vote as a Democrat, go fucking vote. Quit, quit the Green Party shit. I get it. Third party votes were all very mad at the Democratic Party. I'm mad all the time at the Democratic Party. This is not the time to do that. This is not the time to protest vote. This is not the time to say, actually, electoral politics are not the way forward for this country. This is not the time to say, oh, well, actually, Bernie Sanders isn't willing to directly implement a juice revolution right now in 2020. Therefore, what's the point in voting? Shut up. Register as a Democrat. Iowa and New Hampshire, both, I think New Hampshire, I know Iowa, both have same day registration meaning that when you go to the poll, you can register there. Is it, is it the same with New Hampshire? I want clarification from chat on that because that's important. Jush, yeah, Jush, hey. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. But Vosh, I'm European. If you're European, don't worry about it, guys. I'm yelling at the Americans. I'm yelling at the Americans. Yes, some states, including California, have open primaries, which means that you do not have to be registered to the political party that you are voting uh, preferential candidates for. You need to go out there and vote. You need to go out there and phone bank. You need to go out there and text. We are on the cusp of what might actually be genuine, legitimate political revolution in this country. I don't mean Bernie Sanders himself, literally instigating, running down Washington in a tank, you know, mowing over the FBI and CIA, you know, goons, he comes in his path. God willing, that probably not gonna happen though. What I'm talking about when I say a political revolution is that we have a chance to incite in the minds and the hearts of hundreds of millions of, American, uh, of Americans a kind of passion for social democracy that has not existed since Roosevelt. But more severe, mind you, than Roosevelt, if Bernie Sanders ends up winning this election, this will be more astounding movement to the left for this country than we have ever seen in this country. Roosevelt was popular for his time. There was not a massive media apparatus designed to destroy Roosevelt as there is with Bernie Sanders because Roosevelt implemented the New Deal to save capitalism. Sanders does not want to save capitalism. He has run as a socialist. He has destigmatized the term socialism. We now have MSNBC segments where the um, prompter will explain to the viewer the difference between socialism and communism. Nuance is being brought back to the discussion. It is not too late. We might, what the, the true glory of a Bernie Sanders presidency will not be Bernie Sanders. It will be the millions of people who are inspired by him after the fact.
That is what we are looking to excite. We are looking to excite two, three generations of people who get into politics, more AOCs, more Ilhan Omars, young people, passionate people, left-leaning people who cite Bernie Sanders, who, by the way, in a decade, two decades, isn't going to be around anymore. Let's face it, folks, he's old. But this is his shot to throw advocacy into the limelight for to yeet, to Kobe, political revolution. For America to show everyone that it is not only possible to be truly left leaning and still win, but it is possible to fight back against a, a tyrannically, uh, overwhelmingly powerful media apparatus and win in spite of it if you are passionate, if you are intelligent. And this is what we need more than anything else in this country the social revolution, not the political one. Because the political one must follow necessarily from the social one. Go. Register as a Democrat. Call. Phone bank. Grassroots. Find what you can do. There is something that you can do right now. It is, it is good. It's good exercise. You know, you, you exercise your sort of social acumen. You get, you get out there. Uh, uh, talk to some people. This is the best shot we are going to get. There's nobody after Bernie who even comes close to his level of, of, of bipartisan political mobilization. Nobody that I am aware of. There is nobody that will follow after him. At least nobody old enough to run for presidency. Maybe AOC in 20 years, maybe with a little more know-how, a little more get, a little bit more coalition building. Maybe she could do something. But for right now, this is that. If you're not American, you cannot vote. Uh, uh, Obviously, you know, uh, you can't phone bank to stay out of our election, please. You know, we have enough electoral interference <laughs> to, to, to deal with, you know, um, stay out. But there are still things you can do. Go online. Normalize Bernie Sanders in online spaces. Shit post. Tweet. Participate in online polls to, to, to express overseas support for Bernie Sanders. Make it clear to everyone who is voting for Bernie Sanders and everyone who is not, everyone who opposes him for whatever myopic brain dead reason they might have summoned to justify such a, such a, 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 a poor decision, that it is not just the people of America who want Bernie Sanders in office, it is everyone that the world wants Bernie Sanders in office, bar the worst parts of it. Bar what? Saudi Arabia? Oh yeah, who, where was the international vote coming for against Bernie Sanders, you know? Saudi Arabia, maybe uh, uh, Russia? Uh, maybe they don't like it. Israel? I don't know. What, what far-right authoritarian governments oppose Bernie Sanders' victory in the 2020 president election? I don't know. Maybe they can complain, they can whine, they can bitch about it. I look forward to seeing the, uh, the internet shitstorm. But until then, we have to work. And work we will. If you are not phone banking on a day where you could be phone banking, you are letting all of us down. I'm sorry to be so imperative about this. I know, I know, that really is... Because I would get irritated hearing that too, most of the time. I really would. I would think like, oh, yeah, fuck off, dude. I've got my own life to live. But I really do mean it this time. We can do it. We're so close. You know what? Do it just to piss Destiny off. Destiny's been spending the past four years saying Bernie will never win and banning Bernie bros in his chat, okay? Just just do it to anger Destiny. Because the, the that's what I want to see, okay? I want to see Destiny's chat uh, uh, lol wing him for for months straight. Uh, after after Bernie Sanders wins, you know, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, Destiny, Bernie will never win. Uh, yeah, you know, just a, just a wall of lol W. That's what I want to see. I want to see Omega lol stretching from here to the fucking moon. All right? Do what you can. I am but a small content creator. I am a small boy, you know? Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, w w w what am I? Like uh, 53, 54,000 subscribers, okay? But that means, just of the people who are watching right now, 2,000 people, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little, I don't know. I'm not checking the numbers right now. Who knows? Of the people who are watching right now, thousands, any of you, even just a hundred of you, decide to start phone banking. That could conceivably mean five, six people whose minds you change every single day. If one of those people every week decides to phone bank themselves, the hundred of you over the course of the next few weeks could turn into thousands of votes for Bernie Sanders. 
That is the power of advocacy. That's the power of grassroots change. That's what Bernie Sanders can do that none of the other Democratic candidates to do. That's what Bernie Sanders can do that Trump could never do. Mobilizing groundwork. And that's why he has by far the most donations. That is why he has by far the most volunteers. It is because the people who want Bernie Sanders to win are the people who care most about this country and this country's future. So go for it. Just go. No need to oversell. Just go for it. Go. So I am... I'm, I've been told that Chew on Head is making a video about the Democrats rigging the primaries, which we will talk about. Like I said, the DNC will do what they can to stop this. But we'll have to get into that later. She looks like a 1980s librarian in this. You know? I'm not hating or anything. I think it looks cool. It's just it's a very specific aesthetic. Um, 